next. Um, don't mind me today, my hair is pulled back. Um, real quick, I just want to talk about suicide prevention and depression. Um, I just came across a story about a guy, uh, I'll leave his name down in the video because it, it skips my mind right now. He was in jail for a long time and he was getting beat and he was getting all type, types of stuff did to him and then he got out and he was strong for like three years and then he committed suicide. What I want to say on that is that, you know, if you're going through something, tell somebody, um, talk to suicide hotline prevention so you can text them um, because life is a gift from God and it's very precious, you know. And sometimes we do go through things, um, sometimes unexplainable. How do we explain the unexplainable? You know, with rape and traumatizing stuff that happened to us when we was little kids and just all types of stuff that we endure during our lives. But it doesn't mean we have to take our own lives. You know, it's not cool, you know. People have a different reasons, and I'm not going to judge, but, you know, t for me it's a sin, that's why I would never do it. Although I'm going through a tough time now, with the whole career, and I feel like it's taken off, feel like I'm being ignored, and used, and all that. But, I still know how to keep myself sane, and that's what you should do too. As a person, that's what you should do too. Just find something that keeps you sane, find something that keeps you happy, because... Life puts us through obstacles and, you know, having bad dreams and all of that stuff can contribute to stress and feeling like you need to take your own life because that's the only way out. It's not the only way out. You know, it does get better, but we have to look to a brighter day even if the sun but is nobody, not shining. But nobody can know what you're going through unless you tell them, unless you speak up. You know, none of us are safe until all of us are safe. And you know, I just don't want to hear about another life, another anything taken. You know, you know, you never know what somebody's going through just because they got the looks, the fame, and all of that, or the Instagram followers or whatever. None of that stuff matters. Cause when you once you get into depression, once you get deep down under it, and you feel like no one is there for you and no one is every, you know, even though you know other people going through it even though you know there's like 7 billion people in the world once you get in there and you're in your feelings and you feel it deep down inside it can be a scary place it's happened to me numerous of times it's happened to me in the middle of the night it's happened to me a lot you know but you always have to bring yourself back up you know, that's just my little take on it. Um, there's so much I can say, but as a person, you have to make that calling. So, any comments, concerns, questions, leave in the comment section below. This has been your boy, Chris, with the next. Stay safe. Let somebody know what you're going through, when you're going through it. Ain't no need for more lost lives because now getting old, reaching the age of 90 is a blessing rather than actually just life normal science um, biologically happening um, peace